So as we've seen earlier, pi sub n is going to be equal pi sub 0 times p to the n. So in general, you expect that each time step, your um, row vector pi to be constantly changing. However, there is a special case when the row vector pi, when multiplied this p, does not change. So there's a special case where this equation is satisfied. Pi times p is equal to pi. So when I multiply by my transition matrix, I get my same probability distribution back. And if this is the case, then we call pi a stationary distribution. Or in other words, we call it an invariant distribution. And to find um, such a distribution, we typically just solve this system of linear equations. Pi p is equal to pi. So now let's go over an example of how to find a stationary distribution um, in a Markov chain. So suppose I have the following Markov chain with two states, A and B. A goes to B with probability 0.7. Um, B goes to A with probability 0.4. A self loops with probability 0.3, and B has a self loop with probability 0.6. So let's write out um, the probability transition matrix here. So it's a two by two matrix since we have two states. So A goes to A with probability 0.3, A goes to B with probability 0.7. B goes to A with probability 0.4, and then B goes to B with probability 0.6. And just a quick sanity check to make sure that your um, transition matrix is correct is to check that the rows sum to 1. So in this case, 0.3 plus 0.7 is 1, and 0.4 plus 0.6 is also 1. And then let's set our pi to be equal to the row vector pi A and pi B. So this is what we're going to solve for. And now let's try to solve the equation pi p is equal to pi. So, so if I multiply this um, row vector by this matrix, so I'm going to get two equations. The first equation is going to be 0 0.3 pi a plus 0 0.4 pi b is equal to pi and then the next equation I'm going to get, so I multiply this row vector by the second column, and I get 0 0.7 pi a plus 0 0.6 pi b is equal to pi b. So I'm going to multiply both of these equations by 10, just to make everything um, easier to work with. So I'm going to have 3 pi a plus 4 pi b is equal to 10 pi a and then 7 pi a plus 6 pi b is equal to 10 pi b. So I'm going to move this pi a to the other side. So this equation, so this equation I'm going to move the 3 pi a over to the other side to get 4 pi b is equal to 7 pi a. And then I'm going to do the same um, for this equation. I'm going to move the 6 pi b over to the right side. Um, so I'm going to get 7 pi a is equal to 4 pi b. So now if you notice, these two equations are exactly the same equation. They're redundant equations. Um, so as of right now, we can't actually solve this system of linear equations because we have two unknowns, pi a and pi b, but we only have one um, useful equation. So what do we do? 
well. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to erase this Markov chain so I have more room to work with. So what do we know about the elements in pi? Well, we know that it's a valid probability distribution. So its elements must sum to 1. And this is the equation that we can use as our second um, non-redundant equation. So, so I previously had 4 pi b is equal to 7 pi a. So pi b is equal to 7 over 4 pi of a. And I'm going to plug this into this equation to get um, pi of a plus 7 over 4 pi of a is equal to 1. So 11 over 4 pi of a is equal to 1 pi of a is equal to 4 over 11. And therefore, pi of b is equal to 1 minus pi of a, which is equal to 7 over 11. So therefore, if I um, go over here, so our stationary distribution pi is just equal to the row vector 4 over 11 and 7 over 11.